What's up, y'all? This is Cardi Cortez, and this is my I Praise, take one. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is your boy, Zicardi Cortez, and this is my I Praise. All right, so welcome to Atlanta. It's good to be here, man. <laughs> ATL. Yes, yes, sir. Uh, tell us how and when you discovered your gift. Uh, wow. Um, when I discovered my gifts, I want to say I was probably about five or six. Um, that's when I found out I can sing. Um, I just wanted to sing all the time. I sung every day, all day. Um, people were telling me I was obnoxious. I got on their nerve. But when it's truly your gift, no matter what, man, it's going to ooze out of you. Um, uh, and um, so I guess I really started recognizing that uh, – I could sing and that I wanted to sing when I was about five or six. Yep. Why did you decide to pursue a faith-based faith -based career as opposed to more of a secular one? Um, I haven't always wanted to uh, uh, be a gospel singer, but um, uh, in this, in, in, in your life, in my life, uh, um, it's not what I wanted to do, so it was always about uh, God, uh, always interceding and uh, stepping in into my life to direct it. Because if it was up to me, I probably would have been a, a, a R&B singer or um, a jazz singer or um, anything other than gospel singer. I love country music. I like all types of music. So uh, who's to say, man, I, I, I probably would have been singing um, Jamaican music, you know. But um, when you are... Uh, chosen by God, that's just what it is. Um, so you're gonna do what he wants you to do. And I know that from experience because um, even though, or even when sometimes I don't feel like singing, um, you get up there on stage and you start singing and you just feel the presence of God come over you. So um, that's that's how you know um, when it's your destiny and when it's your purpose. Okay. Uh, walk us through the process of curating your single, uh, You Don't Know. What's the most important lesson listeners should uh, take away from the song? Um, 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 that that everybody has a story. You know, this song uh, is about my story, but people, are, uh, I want people to relate um, from their story. And uh, everybody's been through something. Everybody has had mountains to climb and trials and tests and... Uh, uh, and a lot of times, you know, we're, we're looked at um, as a perfect person. You know, we, we, we got to be perfect in this world that we live in. And, you know, especially in the church, let me just say that like that, you know. Um, um, and you just don't know what I've been through. You don't know what I've been through to get to this place that I'm at, you know, this place of sanity. Just two weeks ago, you could have been about to lose your mind and kill somebody. And, but you made it to the next week, and you don't know what I've been through to make it to this next week. But what I do know is God had his hand on me this whole time. You know, even um, uh, before <clears throat> before the outcome, you know, before it was all right, before it be became all right, God was still working that thing out, man. And um, that, that's all it is. You don't know what I've been through, um, but but the, the, the fact of the matter is, and at the end of the day, um, <clears throat> you can go through it and you're gonna make it through it uh, because God is on your side, you know? Speaking of going through things, what's a scripture or just piece of a piece of the scripture that you relate to the most? That for we know <laughs> that all things work together, man, for the good of them who love God. Uh, another one is Jeremiah uh, 9, it says, for I know the plans, the plans I have for you. And um, um, that that's something you can take you know, going through the things you you going through, at you know God has a plan. So you know it's it's it was designed for you to go through this. So you know this can happen. You know, uh, a millionaire didn't become a millionaire overnight. You know he had to go through some stuff. Probably had to lose some hundreds of thousands to make a million. You know, and a lot of people don't see that he went through all of this to make this happen. But you know that that's just what it is. And uh, like I say, the, the Bible says, "For we know that all things work together." All things work together. The the the, the headache, uh, 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 the dealing with uh, whatever your baby mamas or you know uh, uh, anything, man. It's all working together to get to this place. You know. 
If you can collaborate with any artist of today's generation, who would it be and why? Um, it would probably be a song I haven't done. Oh, well, probably a song that I haven't done um, with somebody. I've done songs with like Kiara Sheer, which has been a dream of mine, Ty Tribute, Kirk Franklin. Um, these are literally like dreams I had. Like, man, I was I did a song with Kiara. And wow, I did a song with Kirk Franklin and it actually came to pass. So I would say now, since Prince did, <laughs> probably Pastor Donnie McClurk. Pastor Donnie. That's my that's my that's my main guy. I would love to do a song with him one day. Uh, the notable John P. Key is your mentor. How mm -hmm. has he been instrumental in your success, and what is the greatest advice he's ever, ever given you? Um, the greatest advice he ever gave me was, if your money don't, if the Holy Ghost can't keep you, <laughs> if the Holy Ghost can't keep you, your money should, which means, you know, uh, you know, we, we go out on the road and, and sing and, and, you know, and a lot of times we are challenged by uh, a lot of stuff. And if I just be honest, you know, uh, one of the biggest challenges for men is women. So basically, uh, if the Holy Ghost can't keep you from, uh, I just hate to be so straightforward, but if the Holy Ghost can't keep you from getting drunk after the show, then the fact that um, God is 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 letting you do what you want to do and get paid for it, that should probably keep you. You know, uh, the fact that, um, you, you know, if you do go to your hotel room, straight to your hotel room and skip the bar, you just might not go to jail tonight. You know, you, you, know, you might not get into a, a problem with somebody, have a fight and get a black eye. You know, so if the Holy Ghost can't keep you, your money should. If, if the Holy Ghost just, if you do get drunk, you know, and the Holy Ghost leave you, um, you should be able to think about that money you're going to make tomorrow, you know, or that check that you got to take home to them kids and to their family. So uh, that, that was just one of the things he taught me, and uh, I promise you that was 15 years ago when I was 18. I'm 33 now, and it stuck with me, and I remember vividly how he told me, so... Um, he's, he's just the man to me, man. He's, he's, he was, uh, the male figure that I always, uh, looked up to. I didn't have, I didn't grow up with my dad and my family like that. So, you know, Pastor Key was, um, <clears throat> he was somebody like me. He was somebody that sang and somebody who I wanted to be like. So I thought everything he said, you know, worked. So, uh, but, um, awesome man, a guy, man. And, um, uh, he taught me a lot just off of looking at him too. So. You know. Perfect, perfect. And, you know, a lot of people are going to be watching this through the Internet, through social media. Um, and in these days and times that we live in, right. you know, there's a lot of people that need to strengthen their faith. And, right. and it's kind of hard with the temptations and everything that we have. And Absolutely. Uh, how, what advice would you give people living, you know, what we're going through right now? to Go straight to it? your hotel, man. <laughs> you know, it's not, it's actually not easy, man. I had to get to a point in my life where I said, I'm going to stop disrespecting God, bro. God is giving me this money. You know, and 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 if if truth be told, uh, if 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 I don't sing, you know, it's probably a few more things I can do. But singing is what I'm supposed to do. I don't want to have to go down this whole list of things that could possibly, you know, I'm probably not gonna enjoy my whole life. You know, I'm just stuck with this job that I have to work. And you know, of course, nobody want to live like that. So you know, to keep that and to 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 make sure you, um. You know, just standing on, you know, the right principles and stuff like that. Go straight to your hotel room, and that can mean so much. You know, you you can you can expand that in in, in so many different uh, scenarios. But you know, go straight to your hotel room, man, and 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 and, and uh, don't the the world the the mind and the world is the devil's playground. So he's waiting on that little opportunity. And uh, for you to mess up, and like I say, it's it's easy to do right, man. All you gotta do is go to your hotel room. You know, it's it's easy to to not uh, want to do bad. Um, like I said, I had to get to a point where I, I, I I'm 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 not disrespecting God no more. If He blessing me like this, like 
it's so easy to, you know, do the, the wrong things, man, and, and just mess up. You know, that's the easy route. But it's also easy to do good and to say, you know what, uh, I'm not doing that. I commend uh, 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 my brother um, Rick for coming in today with his wife. You know what I'm saying? Like, and 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 you know, a lot of times, like my brother James Fortune, I see him coming out of town with his wife, and I know he's he's doing that. For, for and, and I would do it for that reason. You know, I don't want to get in trouble. I don't want to know this is my wife. Don't come up to me and, you know, try to get my number or whatever, you know, because I'm good, you know. And, and that's all that's really saying is just I'm good, you know. I'm, I'm satisfied with what I'm doing, and, and, and I choose to uh, walk with God. I choose to, to, to let my light shine, you know. Okay, dope. And you have a new project. That you I got a new project. I got a new single out. Uh, this is a song that I, I actually um, wrote most of the song on my own. You know, a lot of times I use co-writers and stuff like that, but um, I took this song to my brother James Fortune, man, and he put his uh, little um, thing on it, and Aaron Lewis and um, uh, Marcus Callion, and uh, man, it, it just came out to be an awesome song. Um, I, I sat on this song for a minute, man, almost three years, and uh, um, God just kept pressing and pressing and good like go do that song that song's we need that song that song is gonna help somebody and uh i woke up one early one morning i told my brother i was like bro this is bothering me bro i, I don't know why this is bothering me so bad but i need to come over there and do this song and uh he was like come on and uh you know i was going to get it done and um we both thought about aaron you know because you know if you want to sound like that Aaron is the guy, you know what I'm saying, and 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 uh, I love Aaron, man. That's my brother, and of course James Fortune. You know, anytime you get James Fortune on the song, you know it's gonna be uh, a hit. Also, Kerry Douglas, man. Um, um, uh, you know, Kerry Kerry Douglas have been knowing me and my family for. Whew, if I'm 33, I, I say every bit of 20 years, and he he know the story of me growing up and he know how it, uh, you know, he know the good and bad that I got from singing. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, yes, yeah, singing did some good, but it also, uh, did some bad in my life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, being five years old, like I said in the song, you know, I was five when I first started singing, you know, you know, you, you know, I, I, I was crying, yo. I didn't want to go up there and sing, you know, I was like, mama, no, you know, but, uh, you know, now that I'm older, you know, and, and, and I think this is how the song was just uh, birthed besides me actually going through some things. Um, you know, uh, certain situations you go through, um, you know, it just shows you things. And, and when I was five years old, now that I'm older, I see the good and the bad I got from it. And that's what made me say, you know, I'm going to stop being so disrespectful to my calling and to God and to, you know, what I am purpose to do. This is my purpose, you know what I'm saying? So it's different from just being something you getting up to go to do, you know, every day, eight to five. This is actually a God thing, you know, this is your purpose. So yeah, man, uh, you don't know. It, it, a lot of people have stories and they've and, and they been through a lot of things. Some people been through way more than others. And, um, it's a lot, man. It's so much that you got to put into, uh, into this 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 bowl of of you don't know, man. But um, it's just basically my story. Uh, a lot of people don't know what I've been through. They see the glory, but don't know my story. What I had to go through to to get uh, a good relationship with my parents and to uh, you know just to keep a sane mind and just to have a peace of mind. And um, I'm 33, man. And I'm from the hood of the hoods, and uh, yeah, man. So, so you don't know, you know what I had to, had to get through to, uh, to, to, to just want to sing, you know, just to be in a happy place. So that's all it's talking about, man. And uh, I hope it bless the the, the nation and and bless um, every ear that that listens to it, um, because this this is a personal testimony, and uh, I know people need to hear this. I know people need to hear it. Well, speaking of singing, you're about to bless us with a couple songs, right? I am, man. Uh, you don't know, and I'm going to sing a little bit of uh, a song that I, uh, the song that went number one for 12 weeks.
Huh? Huh? Cool. cool. Congrats, congrats, congrats. So let's God go is good, man. And, uh, get set up and we'll, uh, you can take it away. Cool. What's up, y'all? This is your boy, Zicardi Cortez. Welcome back. I am uh, going to bless you guys with a couple of tunes. This first song is called One on One, and we have the amazing Rick Wofford and my brother Marcus Callion here to uh, uh, help me out with you with this song. And it goes a little bit something like this. Mm -hmm. The song says, I, I just need my one on one time with you, with you. Cause Lord, I might be selfish, but I, I just can't help it when it comes down. Lord, I. Down on my knees Waiting to hear from you Cause Lord I need a word from you And Lord I I have so many questions That I need answers to So I just need to talk to you and Lord I I just need my uh, one on one time with you, with you. Cause Lord, I, I might be selfish, but I, I just can't help it. When it comes down to you. I said, I just can't help it when it comes down to you. Oh, I just can't help it, y'all, when it comes down to you. I'll let nothing separate me from the love of you. Oh, when it comes down, oh, I, I just need my one on one time with you, with you, Lord, I might be selfish, but I, I, I just can't help it. When it comes down to you, I can get something right on. That's funny. You steady. You, you stepping on it. Uh, this next song is uh, is a brand new song. It actually just came out today, and uh, it's called "You Don't Know." A personal testimony of mine, and uh, uh, I wrote this song about three years ago, and God has been uh, just pressing me and pressing me to to put it out and to uh bless the world with it and um here it is right now you don't know what i've been through let me share my story with you all the things that he brought me through my stormy days and my rainy days you don't know all the tears I cried or, and the things I kept bottled up inside 
the whole time I'm trying my best to be strong waiting on God and holding on you don't know what I had to endure and you wonder why I can be so sure cause my God never lets me down but he is always around even when I can't see him listen you don't know all the times I prayed over and over and over but my situation didn't change but just when just when I felt it was the end God turned that thing around and he did it again he did it again he did it again now I know you got a story too how God stepped in and made a way for you he wiped every one of my tears and he is the reason that I'm still here yeah. tell somebody right now you, you don't know don't know you don't know said you just don't know you don't know you want to tell somebody you don't know don't know you don't know you don't know you just don't know don't know don't know you don't know let me tell you my story listen I started singing at the age of five my mother put me on stage I was so terrified and I didn't know then God had a plan for me singing all over the world encouraging you to believe you don't know all the tears I cried you don't know but God was right there. He never left me. He never left me. E Ooh. Can y'all clap your hand with me? You don't know. You don't know. You don't know. You just don't know. You. You. Oh. Don't know what I've been through. All the times I had to lay awake at night. When I didn't know I was gonna pay my bill. When I didn't see my way out. Oh, you just don't know. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh Lord, leave me alone tonight. Come on, man. Yes, Lord. Yeah. Yo, what's up, everybody? Thank you all so much for uh, joining me and my on my I praise. God is an awesome God, and I'm grateful for this opportunity. Uh, you guys, please make sure you are following me and staying in contact with me. Go to www.zacardicortez.me and uh, just follow up with me, man, and uh, 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 pray for me and all that great stuff, man. I got a brand new single out called You Don't Know. And today, today, look at somebody and say today. Today, it is available on all digital outlets. That's Spotify, that's iTunes, that's YoTunes, that's MyTunes, ByTunes, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Just go get the song, you guys, and pray for me. Make sure uh, uh, you stay prayed up. Uh, and, and when you do pray and get on your knees, remember this name right here, Zacardi Cortez. Ooh, okay. <laughs>